All right, welcome back to live. Well, I don't know why I keep saying live for. I'm not live. Uh, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Scotty Emerson. Uh, appreciate y'all uh, watching and uh, subscribing. I'm up to 17 subscribers now. Uh, if y'all are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down in the comment sections. What y'all think? Uh, tonight's topic is going to be a really interesting topping. Um, this got me a little on the confused side. I don't know um, what is actually going on. And what I mean by this is that I'm talking about the stimulus package. Okay. Let's talk about the stimulus package. Okay, you know, the first bill was the $1,200 per person okay well we've got that out of the way for the month of april right okay so now we got a second bill coming out that's supposedly to be coming out pretty quickly for two thousand dollars a person uh, but i keep hearing and i keep understanding that it's going to be two thousand dollars a person our married couple is going to be four thousand dollars, right? And any kids, you know, it goes on and on. But I don't understand how it, they're saying it's going to go all the way back to March. So March, April, this is May. So they're going to send you out a check for two thousand dollars a person for three months. So that's two, four, six thousand dollars. We're married, that's uh, $12,000 a uh, check. And then, of course, children. Um, I don't I don't know. Y'all leave that, leave it in the comments down below what y'all think is happening with that. Because I'm not sure what's going on with that. I can't really say. Um, it's got me puzzled, and I'm trying to figure it out, and I haven't figured it out yet. So, um, but I've been told that it's going to go all the way back up to March. Okay, so it's going to be three months or the two months in there. You might as well say three months because March, April, May, yeah, uh, three months. So, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm a little bit on the confused side on, on that part. Because I know that the first package was only $1,200. Well, we've got that in April. Uh, some of us have. Some of us are still getting it, receiving it or whatever. So, does that $1,200 come out of that $2,000 that you've got? So, they still owe you another $800 on top of that $1,200. Are they going to calculate it that way? I don't know. For that one month. And then they still owe you $2,000 for that other month. So I don't know. How are they going to do that? Um, I can't figure. I can't make a whole lot of sense out of it. I know it's all on YouTube. and uh, they, They're just rambling off about it. So I don't know how it's going to go. So I'm just curious. How's it going to play out? It'd be nice they gave you $2,000 for the last three months. But I don't think that's what they're going to do. It. Uh, you all remember when Donald Trump said he was going to drain the swamp, right? Well, he's draining it all right. Uh, by the time he gets done with what he's getting done, um, he doesn't pretty much much fall back to Barney Sanders and Nancy Pelosi's and all the rest of them. He he didn't fell back into their category, letting them kind of run a show. Uh, elections coming up. Um, I'm going to put this out there for a lot of people. Uh, there is a factory right down the road that I know of, that I know that is hiring all over the plant. 
all over the planet. Nobody wants to go to work. Hmm. Nobody wants to go to work it's because of the coronavirus. Or nobody wants to go to work because they know they're getting free money. So. And I would say the second part is why nobody wants to go back to work. They're getting free money. They're getting $2,000 a month per person. Man, I got it made. You know, I could sit here on my... Because I didn't even make that much, you know. Around here, um, a good steady pace, uh, you make you make about five hundred dollars a week. So that's about two thousand dollars a month. And then you take taxes out on that and the insurance, so you're looking at about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars a month. Is what you would make. And the government's giving you two thousand. Now in the big bigger cities I can understand that two thousand dollars ain't nothing to what they need because Rent itself is fifteen two hundred two thousand dollars a month. So, uh, I'm thinking a lot of these. Uh, if you lived in the city and they give you this money, you would ready to go back to work. But living in the country like we are in a small rural area, mm, I can make more money off just government sending money than I can going to work. And I can do hunting, fishing, and um, run around on the wife or husbands or whatever they want to do. So, the coronavirus, I'm going to tell you a joke on that coronavirus. It is a joke. COVID-19 is a joke. Um, I've known a lot of people have passed away from sickness and illness that when they died no matter what the illness was or the sickness was they had to mark it as COVID-19 that's where they got COVID-19 numbers from there's no such thing as a COVID-19 um, I know a boy that was just 21 years old just had a wreck the other day well it's been about two weeks now yeah, about two weeks ago. He had a car wreck. He died instantly on scene. He was, he, he was DOA on scene. Okay. When they done the autopsy on him and everything, it was COVID-19. Now, how can a car wreck kill somebody instead of putting accidental deaths on it? They put COVID-19 on it. So there's one number right there. In the same town, in the same county, that that went in effect. I, I disagree with it. I disagree with it because it's not true. Uh, a car wreck, it's a car wreck. You're, you're dead. If that's the way it goes. But you don't listen to COVID-19. Now, I had a lady, I knew the lady, she had cancer. And she was stage four. All right, whatever stage it is. But anyway, they sent her home with the hospice. Doctor told her she's had about uh, two weeks to live. She could go at any minute. But she lived a week and... It was actually 11 days is what it was. 11 days after she got out of the hospital. She, she did not wake up that next morning. She was pronounced dead. So, now CDC's told them to mark it as COVID-19. So there's two. We got two COVID-19 over in the county, next county. There's two COVID-19. That is not actually a COVID-19. Um, I knew a, a, a boy. Um, of course, I, I blame this on the parents' fault, but they uh, went camping um, three weeks ago. 
and the nighttime got down in the 30s. It was cold out there at that time. They uh, carried him and uh, got back home. He ran high fevers and little face was red and everything. They took him to the hospital. They test him for flu. And instead of telling him straight up in front of them to test what it was, they had to test him for COVID-19. Well, it came back as COVID-19. Well, it's the same thing as a flu. They gave him a flu shot, gave him some antibiotics, and gave him some medicine. Sent him home. He's better. He just had a flu. Is all it was. But they was told to list it under a COVID-19. So, COVID-19 is not what it seems to be. It scares everybody. The government had everything shut down, closed off, wanted everybody to stay quarantined. So, that was wrong. And now that the uh, unemployment rate is out of this world right now, they're doing a stimulus package, giving their body free money. Now, within one year to a year and a half, I want to see how well this free money is actually free money. We're going to pay for it in the long run. Best you top, top dollars we will. So, it's, it may be all tax free. That's right. But if it's tax free, Here's something else everybody needs to think about. Tax free. Next year, when you do a tax return, you're going to do your tax return. You're not going to get as much back because you didn't work that much this year. Unless, unless you were one of the people that had to work like grocery stores and Walmarts and stuff like that. So, so but I don't think COVID-19 is what it is. Comment down below in the comment section, what do y'all think? Because I told you a true story of three different people with three different illnesses in this, but yet they were all listed under the one thing of COVID-19, and we all know that that was the truth. We had a semi-truck that had a wreck up here on uh, the interstate here about, about three weeks, a month ago, something like that, and uh, it killed a driver. COVID-19. What they got listed of. I'm not lying to you folks. That's what they're listening to it of. If you die right now from somebody coming in here and taking a gun and shooting you in the head and splattering your brains all against that wall, they're going to list it as a COVID 19. We well, you know COVID 19 didn't kill at me. So, that is what COVID 19 is. So, but the news and media, people need to turn their TVs off. Turn your TVs off. Stop watching television. Because that's what's putting the world in the shape that they're in. It's bad news that sells. So, disregard what you hear on the news. Chances are they just want to panic everybody. Everybody go, goes into a, a panic mode. Now the whole world is being, not just the USA, I'm talking about the whole entire nation, the whole globe, world, you know, China, Russia, Germany, 
The list goes on. Iraq, Iran. It goes on and on and on. Not just here. So, um, I think with this stimulus package, um, it is good that the government, Donald Trump, the president, jumped, wanted to jump in and tried to help. I want to back this up a little bit. Donald Trump was only going to give money to those working people who was laid off, that was shut down, that cannot work. That's who Donald Trump was going after to get the stimulus package, right? Well, now you got Nancy Pelosi, Bonnie Sanders, all the other people that got their pieces of the pie in there. And they told Donald Trump that they wasn't going to approve that unless he approved of this which is free abortion. If a woman lays there, spreads her legs open for a man to have sex with her and becomes pregnant, you need to take the consequences in raising that baby up right. Have that baby, if you know that you're not going to be able to take care of it, put it up for an adoption. There are plenty, plenty of people out there is willing to take them babies in. It is. So, that's enough rambling on with that. Um, I haven't been on here in a few days, so I want to get that out there. So, uh, yeah. So, I uh, hope everybody be safe out there. And we'll be back here uh, pretty soonly. Tomorrow night, probably. So, hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up, thumbs down, leave some notification bell on, and put me some comments down below somewhere. And um, I will respond to you. Let me know what y'all think going on uh, with them giving that check out. I don't really see people going back to work right now. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Appreciate y'all, and we'll see y'all on the next run.